Chapter 7, The Flying Table Inside the house, everything looked normal. The furniture was where it was supposed to be, and nothing appeared to be moving on its own. Mom and Dad were hanging up pictures and asked for my help. They know I love hammering nails. After the last picture was hung, Mom said it was time for lunch and asked me to set the table. I walked into the kitchen as slowly as possible and peeked inside. Luckily, there weren't any scary silverware people. As I put out plates, Dad poured his world-famous lemonade, and Mom heated up Mrs. Cole's lasagna. Mom put the dish on the table, and that lasagna looked and smelled delicious. I wanted to dig right in, but I could hear Desmond in my head, warning me to stay away from it. So I let Mom and Dad get some first, and I watched as they ate. They both took little bites at first, then they started shoveling the food into their mouths, like it was the best thing they'd ever eaten. First I heard, ooh, and yum, and ah. Then I heard, uh-oh, uh and oh no, uh, ah. That was when Mom and Dad sprang from the table. Their stomachs were making awful gurgling noises, like tiny angry monsters. Then they ran out of the kitchen like two bolts of lightning and headed in opposite directions toward the two bathrooms. Right away, both bathrooms' fans went on. But that didn't stop me from hearing way too many noises coming from inside. Ew, gross, I said to myself. I pushed my plate away and got up from the table. On the counter, there was a bowl of, what else, grapes. I grabbed a handful and took a bite of one. That was when I felt a cold gust of wind behind me. What could it be now? I hoped it was just my mind playing tricks on me again, but it wasn't. What I saw was all too real. The entire kitchen table, dish of lasagna, and all was floating high into the air. I dropped my grapes on the floor and screamed, Ah!